Hey guys, in this speed build I'm building a Japanese village. As you guys may know by now, I really love to build huge builds and villages, so I thought why not build a Japanese village. I've never done anything like this before, meaning anything Japanese or Asian in general, so it was quite fun to try to recreate the actual Japanese look of how this and I looked up some stuff on Google just to get inspiration, just to get the idea how do Japanese buildings actually look like. I mean, of course you have a rough idea, anyone has, but I just wanted to make sure that it looks as close as possible to this. I did not recreate any particular building, I came up with all the layouts myself and with the whole village in general, but for stuff like this, if you want to make it look as authentic as possible, it's sometimes good to get some inspiration and to do your research, so I did that. Um, I really did my best, sorry for anyone who thinks that it doesn't really look Japanese, but I hope that I really got as close as possible. <laughs> Um, as you just saw in the front, I built a building that just has the purpose of basically being a gate and here I'm building another gate, a small one. Um, it's a huge village, but I wanted to have one point of entrance where the mailbox is going to be and for your sims to enter. At the bottom, I built a basement and I removed the ceiling. I wanted to create different levels. I love landscaping and by creating another level by simply building a basement and removing the ceiling you make it look more natural when you use some rocks and just have different levels. Uh, as you can see I again used many many rocks and I sized them up and, and down and I rotate them to hide the fact that there are only five different kind of rocks in the game. I went with the grey color for this. Uh, I also used some of the brown or beige ones but mostly I used the, the grey ones as you can see here and I used many of them. I really wanted to create the slope. I wanted to make it look as natural as possible and here I'm using some of them to hide the edge. I'm using different sizes and rotate them and I actually placed the lot after I was done and I made sure that none of the rocks would disappear so uh, when you download the lot on the gallery, uh, the gallery link is in the description, you really get what you see here. It's the actual build, there are no stones missing, there are no exposed edges of the pools. Um, I really made sure that this won't happen. I also checked that there are no paths blocked for your sims so if you actually want to play on this lot, go for it. It's totally fine, uh, I double and triple checked. Uh, if you find something that I did not notice, feel free to leave me a comment uh, so I can fix this, but everything should be really, really fine. I double and triple checked uh, so you can enjoy this lot. And here I am starting to build the first actual building because the other one really is just a gate, basically. I tried to keep this one as authentic as possible. The roofing was the biggest challenge. I wanted the roof to be arched outwards so it looks Japanese. Um, it was quite fun to try to get this look and once I got it down um, it was easy luckily but at first I really had to think hard how to do this. Um, this building is the gym and the spa area. It's the building furthest from the actual main house that I'm going to build in the back. All the other buildings like a barbecue hut and a game room are really close to the main house, directly next to it, so your sims don't have to walk far. Um, I know it can be quite hard to play on such a big lot, especially when you have kids or toddlers or maybe even just one sim. It can be mind-boggling when they just walk to another building to wash the dishes for example. So I wanted to build it in a way that would make the lot actual playable and manageable with, with a sim family. So there's just one main house. The house contains everything your sim family needs. A living room, kitchen, dining room and so on. Multiple bedrooms so if you want to have a big family there's enough space really. Um, one butler accommodation as you will see later so it looks massive but actually it's just one main house and basically a park around it so um, you can enjoy this lot with your sim family it 
does not only look fancy and, and huge, but you can actually play on this lot, which is always important, because why building it if you cannot play on it? Uh, here I'm building another one, another building. I tried to use the same style, but built it diagonal, uh, so it looks a little bit different. I also made it smaller. I'm building another one like this at the top. Here you can see me building the actual mountain area. So this floor is just the mountain, uh, basically. I am going to use a lot of rocks that I'm going to place at the edges and stack off on top of each other, as you can see here. I sized them up really big and some of them are clipping at the bottom to the room, which is no problem because it's no actual part of, of the house or something. It's really just the mountain at the bottom. <laughs> um, and here I'm using more at the edge. I really used so much. And it's crazy how expensive rocks are in this game. As soon as you go crazy with landscaping and just use so many on them, a house gets really expensive real fast. I read that there is a new challenge, or maybe it's not new, but I heard about it for the first time, where you try to build a house that is worth uh, 1 million simoleons or a lot. And my advice for anyone who's trying to do this challenge is just use a lot of rocks. <laughs> I think one rock just co costs 200 something, but it adds up really, really quick. If you use many, it's just so expensive. <laughs> and challenges can be so much fun. I really love this game. I have been playing Sims since 1. I also played Sims 2 and 3 and now obviously 4. Um, but sometimes things can be a little bit boring after a while. Building never gets boring for me. I just love building ever since I played the game. I just love it so much. It never got boring for me and it never will. But when I actually play with the family, I sometimes reach a point where I just don't know what to do anymore. I usually play without any money cheats. So I have some something to accomplish, some kind of goal for my family. Um, usually they are gardeners and I just uh, try to make a lot of money but sometimes there's a point where I just don't know what to do anymore especially when I when they have kids and grandkids like a successful legacy and then I just don't know what to do and a challenge can be very fun to make things exciting again I guess I think like sims players are usually very dedicated and many people just stick to this game forever and play it so much and um, challenges are the best thing to happen probably because so many people just don't uh, find other ways to play this game. This is what I think is so cool also. There's no particular way how you have to play the game. You can just make up your own stories and idea in your mind and the same goes for building. You can just go crazy with playing the game or building. I really like that. If you guys want, just let me know what do you think about challenges, what are your favorite challenges, did you maybe even come up with your own challenge and you want to share it, then just leave me a comment and tell me what you think about this. Uh, here I'm using again many rocks, I'm still in the process of placing rocks for the last minutes. This was extremely tedious, I used so, so many of them. Um, I used more than usual probably because I want to make it really really realistic. Um, I wanted to use smaller ones at the top which does not look completely realistic but I did that on purpose because I did not want to use a fence but these um, have the function of a fence basically and make it look neat and yeah. Here I am building what is going to be the gaming room. Uh, I am building it in the same style as I did for the gym area. Um, I wanted to use multiple buildings like this and scatter them across the lot um, to have one seam going. The main house is going to look different. I still try to stay in the traditional Japanese architecture. I did the best I could. Um, but I wanted the main house to stand out a little bit. So the other buildings that you saw up until now look a little bit different. So the main house and the butter accommodation and the barbecue hut are completely different. This is uh, actually the butter accommodation. Um, I was not sure how to build the roof and I did not want to make it too big because it's just a guest house, a butler accommodation. Or if you want to, you could let your teenage sim stay there. Um, as you will see in a second, I'm actually going to move this one down. 
because I wanted the main house to be in the center at the top of the mountain. So here I'm moving it down. Um, so your butler is a bit separated from your main family, but it's not too far. And in my experience, butlers never sleep in this game. It's so annoying when they're exhausted and then they sometimes just take a nap in the bathtub. <laughs> I wish you could just tell them to go get some rest. The same with the um, yeah, employees uh, when you have a vet clinic. It would be so good if you could just tell them, okay, please take a break and don't be so exhausted. Because you uh, have to close your vet clinic at some point and um, can't make any more money for that day. Yeah, I mean, if you're playing with cheats, uh, it's, it's easy and you can just make them happy again, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm using uh, more gates. It looks like the gate that I placed at the front of the lot uh, as the form of an entrance. This way I want to separate the bottom of the park area from the actual area where your sims are going to live. Again, more rocks. And as I said, I made sure that it all looks neat and and fine when you download them. Uh, I just started to place uh, some of the cherry trees. Um, these were very good to actually make it look a little bit more Japanese. They are also a pop of color. I just wanted to stay um, with the right, the brown and the red, but the beautiful pink color is just it adds some color but, but not too much. I didn't want to go crazy with any other flowers. Because if you take a look at traditional Japanese gardens, they're mostly stones actually and some plants, but it does not look like your typical garden full of flowers in different colors. So I wanted to make it almost look a little bit barren. And then there are the cherry trees that make it colorful and beautiful and romantic. And here I'm working on the landscaping some more and wanted to extend the pond. I added multiple ponds, not only the ones that you saw in the beginning, but here I'm working another one, adding some rocks to hide the edges again. And I also decided to build another one at the top here. I am preparing the the room that basically is the, the mountain. Um, I am expanding it a little bit and adding another pool here. Uh, your sims can access the pool if you want and the final version I removed the pool letters here and um, put some rocks all around it for the reason that when I uh, tried um, playing on the lot and made sure that nothing is blocked the sims sometimes used it as a shortcut and just swam around the building at the bottom um, I think this is quite annoying so uh, if you want to use one of the ponds as a, an actual, actual pool, I would use the one at the top probably, but not the one at the bottom. Or maybe just block one side. Um, maybe it doesn't even annoy you, but I thought for um, playability um, this would be much better. Yeah, I'm using many rocks again. Um, if you don't know, I've mentioned this before, but you can um, raise and lower them with 0 and 9. Um, it's pretty cool. Uh, to create cool realistic landscapes and this here is the actual main house I'm going to add another floor later as you will see um, I'm removing some of the rocks and rearrange them so they don't clip into the house uh, so it looks all neat and good and yeah you can really play with the big family on this lot there are so many bedrooms um, there are two bedrooms at the top floor including two bathrooms and underneath this there's a master bedroom for the parents or whatever and another kids room um so you can really put so many sims into into this lot even though the main house is not absolutely huge um it's big enough for a family and all the other stuff you need is on this lot as, as you saw uh, the barbecue and gaming area i'm going to build um i decided to make the roof for the main house red so it stands out a little bit any other roof on the lot is dark grey, so the red roof really stands out. I really like this. Um, the main house is not really much bigger than the other buildings. I mean, it is bigger, but not much bigger. So it does not completely stand out at first glance. I wanted to make it look like a realistic village um, and not have one huge building and smaller ones. 
so uh, I thought why not just change the roof color so it looks a little bit different at least um, yeah here I am adding more windows uh, the jungle windows really fit to the seam obviously they are they have a jungle theme but for some reason they really go well with it I think that the wards are actually supposed to be used for some kind of two-door build something like this uh, but if you color them red or the uh, white or brown I think that they can fit to the seam especially in combination with the roofs uh, I added multiple benches uh, these came with the romantic stuff pack I decided to go with the dark green so they basically have the same color as plants or trees I want to make it look natural and did not want to make them to stand out completely um, here I'm building the connection another connection between the bottom and the top part so when your sims want to go up the mountain they can either uh, take the stairs on the right side or here on the left side this way uh, they don't have to rock around too much and which can be annoying but they can simply take um, one of the two stairs and can reach all the other buildings easily or leave the lot or something uh, now I'm starting to furnish the main house. I just placed some random lamps that I'm going to remove later. Uh, ceiling lamps, I mean, um, because it was just too dark. Because even though these windows look really nice, they don't let much light in. So I had to work with many lamps and I just placed these ones just to have some light to see what I'm doing. Um, I built two wards um, to divide the room a little bit. Uh, I try my best to make it look modern, modern and have a, a Japanese theme a little bit. I used uh, many of the pictures that came with City Living. This is the counter that came with the jungle pack. Um, I tried to uh, keep it quite warm toned. I used um, wooden furniture but also combined it with white as you can see here which is why I decided to go with these kind of counters. Um, it was quite tricky because the outside uh, easily looks Japanese in my opinion but uh, staying inside the seam on the inside was a challenge with what which was a lot of fun this this table is so beautiful it came with the free uh, update the Caribbean update and I'm actually curious if they are hinting at something is there going to be some kind of pack but probably not because I think if this would be the case they would have not released anything uh, for free uh, so I'm really curious what the next packs are going to be but yeah I really really like the stuff that came with the free update it's so cool they're beautiful I also use the plant that came with it um, and the ceiling fan is so cool which is something I think we never had in the sims so did we did we have ceiling fans in sims 1 2 or 3 I don't think so or at least I don't remember <laughs> um, this is the master bedroom um, we are yeah, your, your main sims, your parents, your legacy starter, whatever can live. And this is a bedroom. I decided to go with a blue. Um, because I thought it looked quite cool in combination with the bed. And uh, I used the couch that came with city living. And tried to make it look like a kid's bedroom. But still tried to stay, stay in, in the modern scene. This is a office. I just love this rock so much. With a chess table. And at the bottom, I'm going to add some more beds later and another story. Um, so there's plenty of space. Uh, so far, you only see one master bedroom and kids' bedroom, but I'm going to add two more. Um, yeah, I just love these pictures. I I never really, as I said, did anything Asian, and I never really used these paintings because I tried to stay within one seam and. Sometimes with these builds I'm exploring more and more new stuff, stuff that has always been here. I used to play um, with a lot of custom content and I just noticed that I missed out on so much great stuff that came with the packs. I mean I used uh, many many objects that came with the pack otherwise there's no need to buy them. <laughs> but some stuff I just never noticed. Like I had um, once to seek couch that I used so much 
really so much and I kind of ignored some of the other stuff and after I moved my mod folder to the desktop to do some cool creative walls and to see what the game itself has to offer I just explore more and more things every day <laughs> it's so much fun uh, yeah this is the gym at the spa area and here I am building the other floor that I mentioned um, where I'm going to add two more bedrooms and two bathrooms um, yeah, so plenty of space for his sims. You could also let your butler live there if you don't want to have him or her live in the accommodation that I built outside. If you don't want him to have to rock. It would be so cool if we could really assign one whole building to a butler. Because even if you build a little area for your butler, maybe in the basement or wherever. I'm, I'm, I'm sure everyone who is playing with butlers has done this at some point. They never really used this area. I mean, I'm still building it because it looks realistic and I want him to have the the option to use it. But um, you build this whole house and they spend most of the time in the area of your actual sims. And they eat there in the kitchen and spend some time there. It would be so cool if they are not um, only going to their guest house um, to sleep because they they have their assigned bed there it would be so cool if they would go over there to to eat something to watch tv or something to just spend time on their own but yeah <laughs> i mean at least we can lock doors and tell him where to stay and keep some of the other sims out there's also something that i could really recommend if you've never done this before lock the doors on a lot like this if you don't want your sims to um just go anywhere like this lot is not problematic as I said I think it's really easily manageable because you only have one main house but uh, with other builds with different houses and areas and if you uh, want to keep your kids when they have grown up and want them to stay to have their own little family and all on one lot it's really good to just um, lock some doors so you can separate the sims and um, you have one house for each core family basically i really like this it's pretty cool if you don't have huge families um with many many kids it's, it's you can easily do that i mean if you have two sims uh, the parents and one kid and the kid has grown up has a partner and a kid that yeah just like five sims and you can easily ha have eight or even more if you are using mods uh, if you like to do that um here i'm Again, <laughs> using many rocks uh, to hide the edges and I'm using the flowers that came with the jungle pack to hide the wall a little bit um, and to give it a little bit pop of color but I stayed in the red and white color scheme and more rocks <laughs> at the side to make the pond look natural. Technically, a sim scan swim in any of these. These are pools and not fountains. Um, the rocks are blocking the pools, so they are ponds, and your sims cannot use them, otherwise, they wouldn't look like ponds. But you can use any of these ponds as actual pools. You just have to remove uh, one or two rocks and place a pool ladder, and, and that's it. So you can have some fun with it and do what you want. Yeah, I can't really decide on the color for the floor, which can be tricky. Um, the red is quite overwhelming, so I really wanted to make sure that the rest of the colors are kind of fit to it. I want it to look um, harmonic in a way. I wanted it to go all quite well together. Um, these flowers, plants, came with jungle adventure as well. And uh, I used a fence, but then decided to hide them, hide the fence with some rocks again. Um, yeah, and again, I know I said this before, but I really want to say thank you. I only started this channel a few weeks ago, and um, I have gotten so much positive feedback and everyone is just so lovely and so many new subscribers. And I really want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart. Um, I really really appreciate it and it makes uh, makes me so happy and it's so much fun it has been a wild ride during the last <laughs> weeks um yeah so this is it uh, i really hope you enjoyed the speed build here i included some screenshots and i also included floor plans so you have an overview and Please like the video and subscribe to my channel if you liked the video and I see you in the next speed build. Bye bye.